Hello, this is my personal review of a Disney Cruise Line port adventure called Alaskan Sled Dog Summer Camp, which my family did in June 2019, and which was a lot of fun. So I thought I'd do a full review because honestly, I didn't know what to expect when we signed up for this excursion, and I thought a review might be helpful to anyone else who might be interested. So here's the official information page from Disney Cruise Line, and I'll try to include a link in the description below. The port excursion cost $179 for ages 10 and up, $169 for ages 3 to 9, and kids under 2 are free. It's not the cheapest port excursion, but after you've looked at all of Disney's other options in Alaska, like the Sled Dog Adventure by Helicopter, which runs at something like nearly $1,000 per person, this one starts to look more affordable. Um, it says uh, it runs for about two to two and a half hours, and that was our experience. Um, so for context, this port adventure is located in Juneau, which on our seven day cruise was the second to last stop. Um, before I go too deep in the review, I should give you a bit of background. Um, we had originally booked a whale watching experience for Juneau, so when we were at home and planning, uh, we thought, cool, whales, Juno, you do whales. But earlier in our trip, our ship had gone to Dawes Glacier, and we'd chosen to do the special Glacier Explorer excursion offered by Disney, um, which was wonderful. Um, and during that excursion, two things happened. So first, we had the most spectacular run-in with humpback whales and all kinds of other wildlife. So we had we'd kind of got our fill of whales. And second, um, that trip, taught us that our three-year-old becomes extremely bored on long boat trips. So we started to rethink um, the five-hour whale-watching excursion we'd booked in Juneau. So sled dogs came to the rescue. Disney Cruise Line was really nice. They let us change our itinerary. It wasn't a problem. We just didn't know what to expect. Um, I have to admit, when I was at home and booking excursions, I didn't really find the picture on the official website that appealing. Uh, I think it was the clunky car sled thing. I don't know why, it, it just didn't look that fun to me. Um, not compared to, you know, the sleek ice sled that you, you get when you like take the helicopter up to the mountain. But boy, I was wrong. Um, so from here on, here's my review of the actual experience, which was a lot of fun. So let's talk about the actual experience. So here's the text from the official website. It says, on this adventure, you will begin with an approximately 30 minute breathtaking drive along Gastineau Channel and through the historic AJ Goldmine site into the remote Sheep Creek Valley. Enjoy magnificent scenery as you relive the spirit of the gold rush. So yeah, um, sort of like I, I would say my experience uh, goes with this. Uh, we got in one of those medium-sized white vans right off the ship. It was really easy. Um, it's those vans that carry maybe 10 to 15 people. And we drove up a really narrow winding road. It was quite thrilling. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous around heights. Um, and so sometimes, you know, most of the, the, the road is densely wooded and every so often the road would curve around and you get this straight down view into the Juno Bay or up these beautiful ragged mountains. It is really pretty, um, mostly trees. So um, I'm really sorry, all of my photos of the drive turned out really blurry and bouncy because the road is actually dirt and really basic and rough. So expect a bit of a wild ride. Um, if you get motion sickness, you may want to prepare for that. Um, the official Disney text mentions this AJ gold mine. Um, and the spirit of the gold rush. I just want to say, um, no, you won't really see any real gold mine stuff. Um, our tour guide made very clear that while you do pass through this little clearing that has some gold mine history and some machinery and stuff, no, you don't stop there. You don't really get to hear or see anything um, because that's something you pay for. You can book a different excursion to go see that. Um, so don't choose this excursion based on the gold mine stuff, okay? This is really about dogs and sled dogs. Um, so I just, I just wanted to point that out. Um, this is the view you get when the bus turns into the valley where they keep the dogs. Uh, we were there on a really nice day and it was stunning, okay? You know, you might go there just for the valley. Um, our guide explains they put the dogs in this valley because 
the huskies are really, really loud. And I'll show you a clip of, of what it sounds like in this valley with the dogs barking. And so this is where these, um, these trainers can keep the dogs and won't disturb anybody, anyone. So the way they have it set up is they have all these little huts, um, display huts, um, with basic refreshments. Uh, they kind of have a gold mine vibe I think they were going for, but eh. Um, but they, this is where they tell you about the history of Huskies and the Iditarod and other sled, sled dog races. Obviously, they have the dogs. There were about 120 of them. Um, and they each have their own little hut, like the little dog house with their own name on it, which is really cute and fun to see. You know, they have different names like Naughty or, or Shackleton. And of course, there's the well-trained team of dogs who will be taking you on their very own ride. And they have the dogs kind of prepped and ready. The ride vehicle fits about six people plus the trainer who will steer the dogs by calling out to them. Yeah, um, it's completely driven by the dogs. There's no motor or anything like that. Um, and don't worry, they only choose the experienced dogs for the tourist and your trainer is great. Um, so, you know, one of the things I enjoyed most was actually meeting the dog trainers. Our guide was amazing. He was an experienced trainer and a dog breeder with his own dogs at the site. Um, and he was actually training for his first Iditarod race, which was really, really cool. So that meant we learned a lot of, of really personal and amazing detail about the race and the history of sled dogs. Um, the official Disney site says that you'll be greeted by professional mushers and teams of Huskies surrounded by mount massive mountain peaks. Yes. Um, absolutely. Uh, they, again, they mentioned that mine and no, like maybe it's on the side of a mine. You won't see any gold mine stuff. Not really. Um, it says, uh, you know, the health and well-being of the dogs is any musher's greatest concern. You'll learn what mushers must go through to care for the dogs and keep them healthy and happy. I'm, I'm like not a dog person. I'm not, not a dog person. I like dogs, but, but I'm, I have cats. Um, Actually, I found this so interesting. I found their passion for dogs really interesting and inspiring, and they love these dogs, and they take such great care of them, and I really did enjoy that. Um, so, so yeah. Um, so, for the actual ride, we were split into groups of about six to eight people. And while we waited for our turn on the sled, you know, the guide leads you into these little huts that have cool objects on display and history. Um, where you get to ask questions and take photos with, with real sleds. Um, and then when it's your turn to ride the summer sled, um, it's really nice. They let you pet the dogs. You learn about their training. Uh, my three-year-old was over the moon. She was just like so excited to, to get, it, get to play with these dogs. Um, and one of the coolest things is hearing this whole valley of dogs. Uh, get excited about the sleds taking off. So the Huskies were, you know, completely quiet until they saw that a pack was about to go for a run. And then they get really excited. The whole place begins to bark. Um, our guide said that Huskies just want to run all the time. And when a sled is loading up, they just all start barking like, pick me, pick me, pick me. And it really was like that. It was really funny. And as soon as the sled is gone, it quieted back down. Um, so for the actual ride, it was really fun. The sled goes really fast. <laughs> um, a lot faster than I thought, actually. I knew my three-year-old would enjoy this, but I was surprised how much I loved it, actually. It was so fun. Um, I'll just play a clip from the ride. Uh, the clip is really bouncy because the ride is really bouncy. And you'll hear my three-year-old babbling excitedly in the background. She just couldn't, you know, stop talking. She was so excited. Um, but if you listen really closely, you will you might hear the trainer. Um, he's giving the, the dogs calls to tell them where to go. Like
one interesting fact, because that this is the summer, um, the dogs will get really hot if they just, you know, go and don't stop. So every so often they will just stop and drop into these big puddles by the side of the road to cool off. They'll splash and um, and drink it. And so so the trip is a bit stop and go, um, which which is interesting. It's kind of fun to watch the dogs splash around and the the trainer makes sure that they're OK. And there's a lot of care that goes into the ride. So it's 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 very um uh, nice to the dogs. Um, the whole ride is maybe about 15 minutes long. I can't really remember exactly how long we were on the sled, but it felt about right. It didn't feel too long or too short of a ride. It felt really well planned. It's like they've done this before. And at this point you might be saying, hey, wait a second. Disney promised me puppies. <laughs> and yes, um, we did get to see puppies. Um, at the very end of our trip, um, they took us into this kennel area and they had really, really little brand new puppies and they kept them safe inside the kennel. You could just look at them from a distance. There was the mommy husky that was, you know, very protective over her, her two little puppies. Um, but there was, there were older puppies, at least one. Um, and it, it was about four to six months old. I can't remember and I can't seem to find a picture of the older puppy we got to pet, but Rest assured, when we went, there were husky puppies and they let us pet at least one puppy. Um, at the very end of the trip, we got back in the same van we came in on and it was great um, because the whole experience was just a couple of hours. So we had the rest of the day in Juno, you know, the, the, the excursion was in the morning. So we were like, whoa, we can do whatever we wanted. And we actually had time to ride the gondola up, you know, the Skyliner gondola that goes to the top um, of the mountains in Juno, which we hadn't even planned on. So that was great. Um, so yeah, that was our experience of this port excursion. I, I, I do. I highly recommend this excursion. We had a lot of fun. It was a great surprise. Um, and especially it, it's a, a great experience if you or your kids love dogs. So, so yeah, um, have a happy trip.